In this video, we're going to cover getting vertex animation textures into Unreal Engine from Blender. Um, we're going to be using my extension OpenVAT. You can grab the latest version of this through the link in the description. Um, and you're also going to need my engine tools package for Unreal 5. Once you have that extension downloaded, if you did it as a zip, you can just install from disk through the Blender preferences. Um, you just select the zip file, or if you did it from the Blender Extensions website, you can just drag and drop from the site, and you should see a panel in the 3D viewport called OpenVAT. So I'm in this scene right now. I animated this origami frog using nothing but geometry nodes. Um, I just keyed nodes inside of my geometry nodes, and it allowed me to do this really cool unfolding animation. And typically, if I wanted to get this into Unreal Engine, I'd probably approach it with a rig, which might be a lot more complicated than the amount of effort that it took to create this animation. So we're going to open the OpenVAT panel. For the default Unreal Engine shader I have released right now, you can only use packed normals or no normals. And since I want normals in this animation, I'm going to use that packed normals method. We can just click this button to start the encoding process. What this results in is an FBX, an EXR texture, and a JSON file, which just carries extra data we'll need to create our shader correctly. So from that engine tools zip that you downloaded, you can extract everything from that zip file, um, copy the contents, and just paste it into the content of your Unreal Engine project. And you should see it populate in your project. Really, this is just a seed material. It's kind of a template material that you can use. Um, so we're going to create a material instance of this. And I'm going to move it into a different folder just to keep everything organized. And now we can drag in our texture and our model that were created during the encoding process. So I'm going to open the material instance editor for this material, and I'm going to set our frog model as the preview mesh, just so we can see what's going on. Now we need to set these material instance properties, and we can get these values from that JSON file. So we grab our total frame count, and we grab the three min values and three max values for X, Y, and Z, and place these in the material instance parameters. The only other information we need is the Y resolution of the texture. So I'll just set all those values. Um, and you can see there's some issues with this. So the first thing you need to change is in your project settings, you can just search for forward. We need to use forward rendering in order for shadows to work correctly. So you will need to restart your editor after making that change. And when it reloads, you'll see that the shadows are fixed, but the vertex deformation is still not. Um, and the way we fix this is in the texture import settings for that VAT texture. We need to change this compression type to RGBA16. And once you set that, you'll see back in scene that everything looks correct. It should look almost identical to what you're seeing in Blender. And because it's relying on GPU instead of CPU, um, this allows us to batch or instance these as much as we want. We can run this on most devices too. Um, this should be valid for mobile, AR, and VR. We can use vertex animation textures for a lot more in Unreal Engine, but I just wanted to cover the basics in this tutorial, and I hope to have a lot more vertex animation content coming out soon, so be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of thing.